Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Amber the Happy Homemaker. Today I am bringing to you some more spring trash to treasure DIYs. And this first DIY that we're going to work on is this little basket that I picked up at Goodwill for $2.99 and we're just going to give it a nice spring facelift if you will. So the first thing I'm going to do is just remove the hardware so I can get it ready for paint. So I am using the Waverly chalk paint in the color white and I thought this was a good idea at first to use the brush with the paint, not so much. It was very tedious and it took forever just to get in all of those cracks and crevices. So what I ended up doing is just painting the top with the brush and then I painted one of one side of the actual basket and I decided to take it outside and spray paint it instead which in the end was just so much easier um, I highly recommend if you're going to get a basket like this you use spray paint and not do this brush and paint technique because it was just it was too much and it took a long time to get into all of those little divots in this basket but it all worked out in the end and it got a nice fresh coverage of paint So that was about the time I said enough when we're going to go outside and do this a different way. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is do a little bit of decoupage again on this basket. And if you've seen previous videos, probably the last five videos I've done, I've used this collage paper. I ordered it off of Amazon. It came in a pack of three. I will link it in the description below. But the prints on these papers are just absolutely beautiful and I just really love using them for my DIYs especially for my spring DIYs because the pattern on them is just gorgeous but I wanted to make sure I went a little heavy with the Mod Podge just to make sure I get my paper to stick in all of those divots and cracks and crevices on the basket so I definitely wanted to make sure I was a little heavy-handed with that Mod Podge to make sure everything stuck in place. Definitely, if you are going to use or do this project um, and you have a basket like this, a foam brush really helps push the paper down in those um, divots on the basket like a lot better. So, highly recommend using like a foam brush for a project like this. Okay, so now that I'm waiting for the lid to dry, I'm going to start on the actual basket itself. And again, using pretty heavy on the Mod Podge just to make sure everything sticks in all of those creases on the basket and just kind of folding it in places like you're wrapping a present. And I ended up using, I didn't use like a full sheet wrapping it all the way around because it kind of tapers off at the bottom, the basket does. So I actually used two pieces to kind of wrap and it just made it a lot easier that way. Okay, so now once my basket is done or dry, I'm going to reattach my hardware. So I have two foam blocks here or floral blocks that I'm going to stuff, stick in here and I'm using my Dollar Tree floral picks that I ordered off of DollarTree.com. I love these flowers and I really wanted to use them for other projects. I got this little cute sign at Walmart for $1.97 and I just think this turned out so cute. It's such a cute spring display and I'm excited to use it in my home. 
So DIY number two is this little garden box that I picked up at the Goodwill again for $1.99 and I'm not too sure what they used it for but it needed a new another facelift um, so I am going to be using again the Waverly chalk paint in the white and going over the entire basket I wasn't too heavy with the white even though it looks like it is very heavy coated on the camera um, I love the blue on this so I didn't want it to cover completely um, so I just very like quickly went over the entire box and painted it with the white I have mentioned before like how much I absolutely love painting and how a project can be totally transformed with just a little bit of paint it's it's just amazing like the after like like what you can produce with a little bit of paint and I absolutely love it so I find it very therapeutic and I love any project that I'm able to paint so of course in today's DIYs there is a lot of painting involved So now I'm using the Waverly chalk paint in the elephant and I'm just going to go over this burlap piece of the basket and I used the stencil brush from Dollar Tree again I'm really loving this brush um, I mentioned this in I think it was two videos ago how impressed I was with this stencil brush for um, dry brushing or using it in projects like this because it's such a nice coverage and I really was impressed with it coming from the Dollar Tree how great it was so I'm just gonna make sure I have that nice and pressed into that burlap and then I'm gonna use that exact same brush making sure I pay most attention to the edges of the box to do a little dry brushing and distressing So I am using this box to go on our front porch when I do my display out there. Um, it is a covered porch so um, I think this would be really cute to use a nice spring and even into summer like display with it. So now I have these little wooden letters that I got at Walmart. I've had these for a very, very long time and I'm just going to, I picked out garden again, even though it had already said that, I just wanted it to pop a little more on this, the darker color of the burlap. So I am just going to go over these and paint them white and then we're going to attach them with the hot glue gun. And I think with the, the darker background when I use the elephant, these white letters just absolutely stand out now and kind of tie in with the rest of the white going on with the rest of the box. So that is how that turned out. I think it's absolutely precious and there's going to be so many different uses for it. And I'm really excited to put it on the front porch and to share that video coming up with you soon. 
these next two DIYs are pretty simple. Um, I've done this before and it's going to kind of be a Ray Dunn inspired uh, DIYs, these two. So I got these two canisters from Goodwill and actually one of them, came, the one with the lid actually came from my mom and this little milk one came from, I don't even know what it is, like a butter churner <laughs> canister. canister. Um, I spray painted it white and I am going to attach this tissue paper that says Easter on it to make it look like a Ray Dunn piece. Um, I've done this pro or these DIYs before using this technique. I have a laser jet printer and what I do is just get a sheet of plain printer paper, tape a piece of tissue paper on and print whatever word or picture or anything I want on that tissue paper, cut it out and then I'm able to Mod Podge it on where you're not able to see any edges or anything like that and it looks like a nice Ray Dunn piece and I really love how that little thing turned out for my three tier tray, again using the Dollar Tree uh, floral picks to kind of just brighten it up a little bit for Easter. Next, I'm just going to make another one for St. Patrick's Day because that is another one coming up and I don't really do anything for St. Patrick's Day other than my three tier tray, but I kind of wanted to make this little Ray Dunn dupe, if you will, um, doing the same thing. And I just printed out this lucky um, thing, same technique on the tissue paper. And this one came out a little darker, the paper came a little out a little darker. so. I just kind of went over it with the Mod Podge and then I'm going to go back over it and line it with some twine. And out of the four projects, I would say this is my least favorite, but I wanted to do just a little project for St. Patrick's Day just to have it on hand for my three tier tray. So this is kind of just a little bonus, if you will. And I used a green spray paint to paint the lid so it kind of does give off that vibe of a the shamrock cam canister of the Ray Dunn products. So. All right, so that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I post and I will see you in the next one. Bye.